Hey, we always live Elvis. Hey, Memphis Mafia Kid and Teresa. <laughs> and I see, I see, uh, hey, it's Halloween. I see you really put your makeup on for today. <laughs> yes. Did I do a good job? Yes, you did a okay? wonderful job. Good. Yes. You look okay. rabbit. Uh, it's not too dark. No, you look rabbit. Okay. I'm gonna start I wearing, really like the lipstick. I'm going to start wearing it like this all the time. <laughs> all the oh, time. me. Hey, y'all, hope y'all are having a, uh, wonderful beginning of your week. Uh, as always, we are. Uh, I got a quick, uh, quick. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my hat. Shout out Thanks. prayers for a uh, Nicola Jane Davies. Uh, you had asked for our prayers, and you know that our prayers and the Elvis family prayers are always with you. So we got a couple birthdays. Happy birthday, Gracie G and Megan Walter. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. and once again. Happy birthday to anybody we may not have mentioned that's got an October All birthday. Y'all coming up on uh, Halloween? It's yeah, boogie day. Uh, days. I've, uh, I, today, since I hadn't shaved, I guess I'll go as Wino Willie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, uh, seriously, y'all. Today, uh, we uh, we got some more viewers' questions, and uh, we're going to get into those. I, I, you know... I woke up this morning. I was out on the porch, and uh, it just felt felt nice and and, and got me to thinking about uh, about the seventies and 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 living at Graceland and you know things we would do and all, but just in general, y'all. I just gotta say it, and I, I'm not trying to rub it in, but if you didn't grow up in the seventies, you missed out. I mean. We had the coolest clothes. We had the coolest cars. Without a doubt, we had the greatest music. I mean... I'm going to disagree. I say the 80s. Well, I, I'm sorry. You can disagree all you want to. <laughs> uh, 70s was, 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 was the music days. And, uh, you know, anytime, any, you know... 50s, 60s, and 70s with Elvis, especially y'all. But uh, no, 70s was just—I don't know—it it, it was it, it was just different, y'all. It was fun, you know. Our our clay, cray, our crazy clothes. Uh, like I said, you know, I got thinking about you know the bell bottom jeans and how, uh, you know, that was in style. And now, you know, some of them starting to come back. But you know, I, I notice a lot of people kind of look and stare, like you know, and that. In the seventies was the thing. I mean, you would have got probably stared, looked at if you didn't have the bell bottoms on. Uh, but we, like I said, we just I could just see you wearing bell bottoms. You know, we just had saw him and then and, and then puff sleeve shirts. <laughs> yeah, eighties. Sorry, uh -huh. sorry eighties. But uh, hey, just wanted to share that with y'all. And like I said, we're gonna get into uh, some more stories. But wanted to answer uh, some of the questions today. So, Teresa. Okay. Today, the first one is from Colleen, and here's your writing, uh, Louise, I believe. Danny, have you ever thought what life would have been if Elvis had lived, or what it would have been like if Elvis had lived? God, yes, uh, many, many times, and, and still think about it uh, a lot. Uh, you know, and I know it's probably almost impossible, but if I could have the things and the family that I have now, and, and that includes, you know, uh, having Lisa and Ben here and just, and he had lived and gone through life. Oh my gosh. It, it just, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know, you know, how much crazier or it would have gotten, but it would have, it would have gotten, I mean, you know, your thoughts go way out there. Uh, just the things you, what are you doing? <laughs> I can't make the mouth, I can't make the mouth move, <laughs> there it goes. Well, I mean, that thing's got two big mouths, so I mean. Oh, okay. I mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you uh, should be able to make it move. Don't forget, I can't take a joke. Uh, but no, seriously, y'all just, uh, you know, how can you not? Uh, think about it, but like I said, with 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 some changes, 
oh my gosh, it would have just been, uh, you know, I, I can't say out of this world because it already was, but uh, it would have been something. It, it really would have been something. That, that's a good question. Keeps you. Okay. From Jane May. What did you think about Lisa saying in her book that she was closer to her dad's family than her mom? I guess she meant that when she lived at Grace Point. Yeah, I, I mean, I was was proud of that, but I, I mean, it was. It don't mean in a bad way. It was no surprise. I mean, like we've talked to, and we're gonna we're gonna talk uh, a lot more about uh, you know some of Lisa's failings. Uh, you know, we've talked about some of them. She loved Grace. Uh, she loved her daddy's side of the family without a doubt. I mean, she's. T- you know, her own words, she tells it, says it in her book. Uh, that, without a doubt, was by far the greatest time of her life, except for uh, her daddy passing away. Uh, there's there's not a, a doubt in my mind. It shouldn't be in any of anybody's mind. I mean, she says it. She loved Memphis, Graceland, and being with her daddy and her daddy's family. Okay, this is from Sherry2479. Who was Rory? Lisa talks about her crush in her book. I've talked about Rory. Rory, Uncle Vernon's girlfriend, Sandy Miller, was Roy's mother. Uh, there was three of them. There was Mike was the oldest, there was Rory, and then there was Laura. Uh, and you've heard me talk a lot about Laura. She, you know, uh, hung out with Lisa and, and, and us. And uh, That's the Rory that, that she's talking about. Uh, and so, you know, I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, most of you know, but a lot of you don't. And newcomers, I'm more than happy to answer that question. But that's who Rory was. He was also one of my best friends at the time uh, and always will be. Okay, Patty H. 956. When you lived at Graceland, did you ever keep a diary like young kids do? And do you know if Lisa kept one at Graceland? I, <laughs> the diary that I kept was in my mind. <laughs> uh, as far as Lisa, you know, I, I really don't know. I'm sure right along that age, because a diary, uh, especially then. More preteen. But what, if she was had, more of a girl yeah. thing. But if she had, there's no way y'all would have known about it. Oh, no, no, she, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, there's no way yeah, because, yeah. yeah that's but, uh, the, and that, you know, I, I can't, like I said, I can't say for sure, but I, I'm almost sure because, you know, uh, back then and, and uh, you know, dating girls and girls and stuff, that was that was a thing, you know. Yeah, more like uh, preteen. Uh, I guess starting you know, around 12. Yeah, especially in the 70s yeah. of, of of writing everything down yeah. in, in uh, their not diaries to say, or not their, to say there weren't some guys who probably did too. There may you know may have been, but it was you know mostly a preteen to teen and up girl. Sure. Well, girls like you know they like to write it down. I mean, guys they kept in their mind. I mean, you know, like you know, girls would you know go home and write you know that that first date and the first kiss and all that. And the guy just kept it in his mind. He's like, mm-hmm. do that again. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the second date. But uh, yeah. uh, I'm sure she probably had one. Yeah. Okay. Nivek Noob. I watched a video on Elvis, and it mentioned him keeping donkeys in the swimming pool. Do you know anything about that? We, we have talked about that uh, in uh, our videos, and, and Mom and Daddy's talked about it in their videos, uh, Elvis Fans Matter. Uh, and hopefully you can go back and... Uh, and, and find them, but uh, to tell you just a little bit about it, uh, during, when they were doing the swimming pool and they were trying to get the grounds, they had nowhere to keep uh, the donkeys and, and, and uh, some of the other critters, and, and uh, so they put them in the pool. What they were building to hold it, yeah. So there was no water in it. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> While no. they were yeah, well, yeah. Okay, yeah. There was no water in it, but just when I, you know, I guess they had dug it out and built it. Uh, you know, Daddy had talked about they, uh, you know, they kept uh, kept them in there uh, for just a little bit till they could get you know some fencing and an area built for them. That's the way I understand it. They were swimming. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
A uh, Kelly Seymour do dog. Does your daddy Billy Smith have any siblings? He did. Uh, he had an older brother, my uncle Bobby, uh, who most everybody in the family says that I look. They 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 say that I look a lot like daddy, but I, when I was young, I looked a lot uh, like my uncle Bobby. As a matter of fact, uh, my mama's got. Uh, my military picture and his military picture, uh, and you know we look a whole lot alike. Yeah, but, you uh, he he passed away young at twenty seven, uh, but I I do remember him and he he was uh, uh, funny as all get out. Uh, had a heart and was just a true and true Smith. He had that love, and 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 protected and stood by his family. <laughs> Okay, and the last question is from Donald Tuarte. Do you think that Colonel Parker is somewhat to blame for Elvis's death? I do not. Uh, you know, y'all, that's, I mean, we can all put it and blame people. Uh, we can blame things. Uh, you know, it doesn't, I mean, it's not, it's, 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 it's not going to change it, but to blame a person, uh, I, I could never. Uh, you know, the colonel, as I've said before, was, you know, he got Elvis, and he was great at what he did, and they were a good team. Now, like I've said in the later years, uh, you know, he could have, I felt like, done more, and he helped Elvis back. That's just me. Uh, but as far as, as, you know, anybody or anything uh, helping or, or causing uh, Elvis's death, I mean, I guess we could go on and, and with anybody if you just really, you know, just want to dig and say and say and say, but I, I'm sorry, that's not right. Elvis was a grown man. El Elvis was a powerful man. And plain and simple, when it come down to it, Elvis did what Elvis wanted to do. Uh, so, you know, and, and, and I know in my heart too, uh, you know, Elvis wouldn't, wouldn't want anybody uh, blamed. You know, it, it, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's part of that life that's tragic uh, that happened. And, and so many things were a factor in it, but, you know, to blame anybody uh, in my heart is totally wrong. And that's just, you know, the way I feel about it. Y'all, what are you doing now? <laughs> I need a cane. I can sit here and mimic you. You're not, <laughs> with that, you're not, you know, not as good looking as I am. I'm sorry. No, baby. I'm better looking. <laughs> y'all, hey, you can see where we're going this week. Uh, go try to get y'all uh, another video, maybe two out before, uh, before the end of the month. Uh. And I know this coming up weekend, we've got big plans. We're going to uh, go spend another weekend with, with Mama and them. And uh, got, Dakota's got a fight on uh, Saturday, November the 2nd. Uh, we're going to go to that and uh, just hang out and have our family love. And, hey, and if y'all get a chance and hadn't made plans, get with some of your family and make plans. Uh, and if you already have, hey, y'all all enjoy it. And remember, we always live Elvis. What you got, Layla? What you got? Oh, she got her bone. What's Matt got? Nothing. He don't got nothing. <laughs>